How do the enemies even see you? This is actually a huge chunk of logic for Doom, given it's tied to how the maps are designed. Plus, it's also one of the most interesting aspects of how the game is optimised. In previous videos on games such as The Last of Us, Splinter Cell and Alien Isolation, we talked about how vision cones are used for enemy sight. Doom predates all that stuff, but also it's designed for early 90s PCs, and quite often there are dozens of enemies running sight checks at once. Even if all the enemies are in the spawn state, then each of them are calling the look function in the codebase 35 times a second. So not only does it need to work effectively, it also needs to be optimised. Doom enemies technically have 180 degrees of vision, and have no long distance vision cutoff. If the view between yourself and the enemy is not obscured, they will see you. Plus, height differential doesn't matter. That's because Doom is a 3D render projected from a two dimensional floor plan. The line of sight is parallel with the floor, Hence, you'll notice that if you're above or below an enemy, if it's facing you, then it will always notice you, even if sometimes you can't see them in return. So how does it ensure that an enemy can see you within its field of view, and also navigate towards you in a way that's cost effective? The trick here is that Doom's map is broken up into chunks using what are known as sectors, and these sectors are organised courtesy of a binary space partitioning algorithm, or BSP. A BSP allows you to organise objects such that they retain spatial information. This is used so the game's renderer always knows what parts of the map it needs to draw by only rendering the current sector and any connecting sectors according to the BSP, and it draws them in the right order. This optimization was added by programmer John Carmack to cut down rendering costs, given it saves on performance by ensuring it doesn't try to render the entire level, an issue that modern game engines have now rectified.